Hey guys, Capper here. Have you ever had dropped cell phone calls or been in areas where you, you, you know, trying to read something, an email or a text or something, and you got dead spots? Well, if you ever thought about a car booster, today I'm going to show you the one that I just put in. And we live in extremely hilly country, so we have a lot of drop spots, a lot of dead zones. So let's check it out and let's get into it and see how this one's going to work. Okay, so this is the unit I bought right here. I made sure I got one with at least four stars, and you also have to make sure whatever one you do get that it covers your band because there's multiple different bands and different technologies that the different carriers use. They're not all the same. So if you look right here, it shows all the bands that it covers. Like I have AT&T 4G LTE. So there's a way you can test your phone. You just follow the instructions before you order one. But anyways, this is the one. I'll leave a link in the description to this one that I ordered. And let's see how it's going to work. I finally got just sick and tired of drop calls and where you can't accomplish stuff. Like there's so many dips out here. You can't make a phone call because like every eight or nine minutes you're going to hit a dip and you're going to lose signal. Okay, so this is a Ant Lent. All right, I tried to pick a good one and not a real cheap one, um, but these are really, really simple. I've installed like probably three of these over the years. I got, I got a home booster for Kentucky, but I'm gonna show you just how easy this is and then we're gonna see exactly how good it's gonna work. Antenna is very simple. It's just a little thread on. with a magnet base. All right, and the booster signal is very simple. Outside, meaning your outside antenna, and inside is your inside antenna receiver. And there's an on-off switch, and we're gonna give it a whirl. So here's a look at the inside antenna. It's got a sticky back. You basically wanna wire this you know, you could put this under your seat or in your in your center console, whatever you want. And you want this to be out in the open. This is like an antenna. So you could stick it, you know, on your dashboard or wherever you want so that it's uh, fairly close to where your phone's going to be. Because your phone is actually now using this as your antenna instead of through the uh, the antenna inside of the phone itself. plug and away you go hit the on switch and it's on all right so the switch must have been on in the box I didn't really check it but we got we got everything lighting up here so now let's take a ride down the same dip and see how it goes all right I'm going down this dip usually all phone calls cut out so right now you can see I'm at two bars, and it'll probably go down to zero. I'll stop at the bottom of the dip. That one bar basically is kind of useless on the most smartphones anyways. All right, and now I'm at the very, very, very bottom of the dip right here. So we're gonna install that booster and then we're gonna come back and test it in this very spot. Okay, and for the record, every single phone call drops on that dip. So now let's turn the booster on and we're gonna go the same direction on the same road. So here's where I ended up putting mine. It comes with two sticky back Velcros on the back side. I don't particularly like the, uh, sometimes I'll direct wire them, but for now I'm gonna just use this cigarette lighter. Get your wires all tucked in out of the way and I've got the actual antenna right over here because it's supposed to be stationary and it's the closer it is to your phone, the better and more stable it's going to work. So that's the antenna 
right there you can't even see it it blends in you know you just get yourself a couple of couple pieces of gorilla tape get it tucked out of the way and you never notice it here once you start using it you'll be in business and a quick note on the antenna you want it at the highest point you can use it and you want it in the center you want it in the center of your roof preferably because that acts as a ground shield now here you, I cut a little hole in there and I ran it through the seal of the door just to preserve it a little more uh, you can run it down this seal right here but I got a big truck and I don't think it was quite long enough for that so you want to make sure that antenna is centered okay this is uh, the good test now with everything on properly go in the same direction as the very first test headed towards our house down the big dip so we're gonna make a phone call here Chickster, we'll see if he answers or not. All right, we're headed down the hill right now. Going nice and slow, about the same speed. Mr. Schickster is going to be too busy for us. Watch. That's all right. We can keep an eye on our uh, on our bars. Looking good. We're getting close to the bottom. Uh oh. Okay, so another reason I bought this one, it has an auto tuner in it. So it basically senses when you need more power and it boosts it up a little bit more. So Schickster was too busy. I'm going to make another phone call here and you'll see it's going to kick up to two bars even while we're at the bottom. Well, we're at the bottom right now. All right, let's try a different one. I'm sitting sitting in the bottom right now. I'm sitting in the... So even though it's only at one bar, well there, now it's just kicked two bars. So it worked. Um, I was able to make and keep two phone calls. Okay, and I apologize for the audio, but what was happening is I was doing the screen recorder and a phone call at the same time, and the audio was fighting each other. But the gist of it is, I took you down this dip that's always dead, right up the road from our house, and then I put the booster on, and I successfully made and kept two phone calls going down through that dip, and neither of them dropped, and the audio didn't drop, and I can hear it both times so a significant improvement I'll keep you posted on this um, I really need it for my trips to Kentucky where there's a lot of dips so I hope to do an update on this but I hope this helps you that if you get a decent quality booster um, it can really help your uh, cell coverage way out in the sticks especially so don't forget to hit the like button I appreciate it and we'll catch you on the next go around capper out